What's up my friends? Just me, here I am again. Tonight, I bring you Haunted Leonidas House. Uh, it's been used as a hospice, it's been used as many other places. Many people have died in this house. We're here tonight with Box Valley Ghost Hunters and we're gonna investigate this place. So let's go, let's go check this place out. As you see, there are lights on in this house because we're actually sleeping in that room there. There are some people going to be sleeping upstairs too. Um, so we're going to be spending the night here and investigating it. That'll be pretty cool. See what we catch. Just going to show you guys the outside of this house right now. Many of you have seen the pictures that I posted this window, right? I believe but this window right here is where the eyes are. But if you look at some of my pictures and go back, there's actually eyes in that window up there. Where there are people are upstairs right now in the attic. I will be running a camera up there overnight. Kind of cold out tonight, a little chilly. Here's the room we're sleeping in. And then, the rest of the team will be sleeping in this room. Me and another person are in that room. Like I said, there's some people sleeping upstairs. So yeah, this ought to be a pretty cool investigation night. So let's go check this place out. Yeah, it's not too bad up here. No. Okay. Want me to go grab it? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let some people. Go. So the one that's running in the corner there, the one that's right there will pick up temperature. And also, well, on your side, I can't do it, but it'll pick up footsteps too. Oh. oh, I see. Yep. Right. Who's up here with us? Is the thing up here where it had the really glowing eyes looking out at me? There's no stomach, or is it downstairs? That's downstairs. Is it? I don't know. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I heard something. Through the vents or something. My stomach's growling. I might get him loud. I hear somebody's stomach growling. <laughs> Is there anybody up here with us? Can you make a loud noise? It's a little girl up here that said, this is my classroom is up here. Can you light up one of those meters on the floor? 
We all make really pretty colors. <coughs> One lit up to the left of it. Yellow. If that was you touching the green light, and you can touch any one of those, there you go. If that was you touching the green light, what is it with me now? If that was you touching the green light, see if you can pick up the K2 meter off the floor, please. touch the REM pod, it's got the red light on top and it changes all different colors. What was that? The heater. Okay. It has the heater. Yeah, it's cracking, popping. Can you throw something? Two hit. Yeah. You like playing with that little green light? See if you can make it go to red. You can light it up all the way to red. What's your name? If you want, you can come up to someone and tap them on the shoulder. Pull their hair. If you're on the stairs behind me, run up the stairs. Yell out as loud as you can. One meter hits. If you don't like us up here, make a loud noise. That was on stomach. If you don't like us up here, knock on something. Knock on one of those, <laughs> knock on one of those side doors by the wall. You okay? Yeah, this sneeze. Huh? I'll sneeze. That's gonna okay. sneeze, yeah. You can sneeze all <laughs> well, like yeah. So shouldn't the temperature be going up with the extra people in the room? It seems like it keeps going down. I'm standing up. Not really, I mean, it's gonna cool off. It's only 39 degrees or whatever it is outside, yeah, I don't know. Marco, your stomach's actually entering. Yeah, that wasn't me. It was over there. That was over there. I thought yeah. it was right here. No, no, it's right over there. Can you throw one of those little plastic beads tonight? You can hit Haley in the head, we don't care. I promise I don't. K2 hit. See if you can finish this. One more time, see if you can finish this. It's 
kind of good we can't hear them three floors below for the most part, so. I'm going to turn the ghost box on. Everyone knows what a ghost box is. It runs the white noise. Exciting. Yeah. Hello. Who's up here? Me. Tom. Who's here? Tom. Tom again. Tom. What's up, Tom? Tom again. Tom again. Tom, have you always lived here? What's up, Tom? Ghost? Who's a ghost? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Who was me? I heard a female in there. Nope. Tom, can you go up and touch the rent pod for us? I wanted three of you. I wanted three of you? What? I did that too. John's not here. What's your favorite number? Three. Tom, can you confirm the names of somebody that's in the room right now? Seven or six numbers. <laughs> We got eight of us, so. What's your favorite color? Green. Blue. Thanks. What are you doing up here? You 
said six. Two? You're right. What's the last number? If you're really super cool and you can get this, what's the last number? It's changing, so I'll take whatever last number you see. I still see two, I guess I see two again. I got six, two, what else? Could you go and tap on the ground by those orange numbers? Marco. We are in such a tight space. The walls and beams are primed for the knocking. If you could just give us one of these, we would be so happy. I thought I heard bangs somewhere there. I think it was something downstairs. Or like a club. Like a deep club? Yeah. Yeah. No. All right, is there anybody down here with us right now? A couple ways you can communicate with us. We have a couple of lights that you can touch, this green or red one. Uh, it's kind of hard to knock on stone, but you're welcome to give it a shot. And say anything you'd like. How long have you been here? Is there something that you've been wanting to do or you've been wanting to say? How old do you remember yourself being? <laughs> Tom, are you down here? Who else did they say they heard? Sid? S Sid. We'd love to talk with you, Sid. There's a lot of stuff down here that you can move around. But somebody got some scratches, just some minor, minor scratches. If you could feel one of us, pull our hair, tug on our pants. What did you typically do on a Saturday night? <laughs> Me, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of dark down here. We want to see some lights. If you could just give this a tap, that would make us really happy. That would be them upstairs, right? That's what it sounds like. Could be Craig coming back in, too. Um, he went outside. What's your name? Is there something that you prefer to do in the basement? I see there's a workshop. Do you like working with tools? Does anybody have any questions they would like to ask?
How many people are in this house? How many people are in this room right now? Did you pass away here? We heard that there might be some burial grounds on site from the reservation. Uh, did you belong to the tribe? I suppose if they did belong to the tribe, they might not speak English, but... What was your favorite thing to do in the day? <laughs> do you have a favorite thing to do at night? How did you die? Me rubbing against the wall. Oh, My sweatshirt keeps hitting the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed it. So that's a DRK two meter down here at the green one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we had some good luck upstairs. They were turning that light to orange. Could you switch it over for us? Give us a show. Do you like us being here? I'd feel kind of weird if I had a bunch of people I didn't know coming to my basement. We're not here to hurt you. If you are here, why are you still here? This would have been a creek in the house, right? That's Craig. Um, yeah. Craig. Okay. <clears throat> Is there something that you want to tell us? Is there something that we can do for you? Do you like being here? Did somebody just whisper? It sounded like a stomach. I thought that was a stomach growling. It was not me this time. No? I heard what sounded like a whisper and almost like a... Yeah, it came from over there by you guys. Yeah. But I thought it was a stomach growling. I didn't hear a whisper or anything over here. But I heard it. I know what she's talking about. Okay. That's what it was sounding like, with like our stomachs upstairs. It's pretty nice now that the snow is melting. Do you have a favorite season? Why do you stay here? Do you like it here? Do you like the other people here? Is there somebody here that you don't like? Is that anybody? It's from the apartment, I think, isn't it? Whole room is the room where all the action happens. Did you do a lot of shoveling here? It's been long winters. I bet you were busy.
Did you live here after the coal chute was removed? Is there anything that you're afraid of? I'm going to try to tap on this pipe here. Could you make a noise like that? Just. We have our meter set up right in the doorway here, so if you just walk into the call room, we'll let you, you'll let us know <laughs> that you're here. Surely that's Craig, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Mm -hmm. What sort of things did you do in this house while you were alive? Sits down here once, see if they ever get to sit down here and see if he's down here. Or vice versa. Hello. Heather? One. What's up? down here. What do you want to tell us? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. 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 Are you guys doing good tonight? Yes. I do the yes. You're great. That's awesome. Which part of the house do you like best? The basement? No, I heard that. Well, that's cool. I just got a super chilly ass chill that just went through there. Why do you like the basement? Great. Is it because it's so cold down here? I wish it was warmer. Kind of smells like fuel oil down here or something. That's what that smell was. I can't. I couldn't place it. Like almost, camping fuel. Almost feels like there's something right in front of me to my right. I feel like there's something standing by me. No. There's two people. Who's the two people? Marco. Oh, 
What do you want to tell us? It's a little nipply down here. What's your favorite number? Sid. What's up, Sid? Could you give us the first and last name of whoever's down here with us? Hi, right, Sid. What's your last name? Hmm. There's a camera for once more. How are you doing down here, Sid? the girl? Is it Heather? Is this the girl that had the classroom upstairs? <laughs> or maybe it was the library or something like the library. It's old? I get that. It's old here too. Let me turn this off for a minute, guys. Sound good? Thanks for talking through here. Peace out. Tell me what you're talking. Oh. What? Sounds like the same voice. Yeah, it was. Who's the girl? Or the little boy, little kid? Or somebody? Oh. Keep talking. I want to talk to the girl. Or the little child, or whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. Are you a boy or a girl? Can you say something again, please? Did you die here? Why are you still here? Were you hurt here? Oh, 
I keep hearing John a lot. I'm here moving upstairs. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Kind of down Hear footsteps. Okay. So you can finish this. Did you hear that knock? No, there's something back oh, behind me that? again. It sounded like a little knock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more time if you want to finish this knock anywhere you want. Back by, back that way, or by you? Over there in the corner by the window. I feel like there's it's over. Back. It's over here. Behind us. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no fish tanks, but. No, it's. <coughs> no, there's nothing back there. No, I'm, I'm hearing it like over here. Mm -hmm. like See, I thought ceiling. it was coming from right here. Whose hand that is right there waving? That's where I hear it. Yeah, like up in here. Mm -hmm. See, I thought it was coming from back here. Yeah, no, like I, the shelves or something. Yeah, yeah, like up in here somewhere. Like the ceiling wall area. Well, somewhere. that's a chair. Right, right there now. It's in a light. Oh, there's a car over there. Oh, there's a car. Okay. Down the road over there. That's why I looked up, because it was right here. I remember last time we were here, we were here you, you touched the REM pod out in the hallway, and then you grabbed my side, and I walked out to touch it. Was getting, yeah, that, it was you and me. What, what's your name? Tammy. Tammy. Thank you. I thought someone was touching my hand when I had the ghost box on. Mm -hmm. Like it was. Holding your hand, yeah. holding the box. Something. Sorry. What'd you do? It's me. Oh. That was my stomach growling. I didn't hear it. I'm not hearing it. Yeah, I didn't hear that at all. No? Just that I could feel it. I, I guess so. Oh, my arms. Hey, who's upstairs? You're gonna get in a lot of trouble if you don't get down here. I have to send somebody up there and get you? Come on down on the stairs and touch the REM pod at the bottom. Let us know you made it down. Or we're gonna get come up there and get you. Sounds mm -hmm. like something's moving up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. just or something up yeah. There. I was going to say, just before you guys said something, I was hearing scratching was like, right behind me. Is that someone's stomach in, or am I actually hearing up there? Shh, I'm going to See if we hear anything. Come on down. Stomp your foot on the floor up there. It literally sounds like people talking. I heard it this I time. I heard that too. 
outside this fan? Just like either upstairs or it's muffled. It up, I heard it upstairs. Yeah, oh, it's oh. muffled. Morgan, are you here with us? Who is this? Who is this? Yes. 
Jeez. Oh. Who's got the deep voice? Okay. Relay up the rim pod in the hallway, I'll turn it back on though. Sound good? Yeah. 